welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. I'm Peter Gross, co-host of the original Wild Kingdom with Marlon Perkins and Jim Fowler. For more than 50 years, Wild Kingdom explored wildlife and our natural world. Tonight's episode and many others focus on the timeless value of wildlife conservation. Wild Kingdom played a critical role in changing public attitudes about the importance of animals for the health of our planet and our own quality of life. We challenge viewers to learn about animals and get involved in conservation in their local communities. That call to action resulted in more visits to local zoos, nature preserves, and even observing animals in their natural habitats. And that connection with animals benefits all of us in the wild kingdom. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom right here on RFD TV. Omaha's Wild Kingdom is presented by Mutual of Omaha, people you can count on. Welcome to Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. The largest bird in the world today is the ostrich of the African continent. This flightless giant among birds stands eight feet high and weighs almost 300 pounds. The females lay many eggs, and it takes the combined efforts of the parents to protect them and the chicks when they hatch. Even then, though many eggs of this size are laid by the females, only a small percentage result in full-grown birds. That's because of some of the other animals which share their habitat. Baboons steal the eggs if they can, and the leopard seldom misses an opportunity to dine on the chicks. Today's story involves a family of ostriches living here in the valley of the Limpopo River in the northern bushveld country of South Africa. The bushveld terrain is mostly dry and open, and it's the sort of habitat that can justifiably be called the land of the ostrich. It is forenoon in this ostrich country. The dry season has begun. And though some of the trees in the Limpopo River Valley are still lush and green, already the grasses are dry and brown. A huge male ostrich, darker in coloration than the females of his harem, moves casually but keeps alert for danger. The families are close-knit, enjoying the companionship they share. As in all families, there are disagreements, but they rarely last for long. The male's distinctive pure white wingtips and showy tail plumes often become stained from the red dust because these giant birds regularly take dust baths. As much as for cleaning purposes, an important function of the dust bath is that it helps dislodge skin parasites, such as lice. Close by, in the heavier cover near the river's edge, is where other animals tend to congregate. The warthog is not an animal the ostriches need to fear, nor is the zebra grazing nearby. These animal neighbors and many others all live compatibly in the bushveld country. Often the timid and delicate-limbed impalas will move about and feed right beside the ostriches, as do the stately giraffes. But while they live in harmony with one another, all of them keep constantly alert for danger. Although several families of ostriches are living and nesting close together, specific territories are jealously guarded. The big male bird's methodical wing waving has several meanings. He does it when he's agitated at another male's intrusion in his territory, or when danger from a predator looms. But he also waves his wings as a display utilized to encourage unattached females to join his harem, and often as many as six or seven will become his mates. 
The same effect is true of the bellowing roar he makes. It's a sound which carries to great distances. This big male's several mates have all laid their eggs in a single nest, but only two, a dominant hen and one other, remain at the nest. Sometimes another tries to share the incubation or guarding duties, approaching with wings drooping submissively, but ordinarily receives no encouragement to stay. The male is a dutiful parent. When not helping with incubating, his huge keen eyes keep constantly alert for potential danger. The third female decides to move on. Some distance away from where this male watches protectively over his mates, another male is just concluding his turn at incubating. Even though the dominant hen is there to take over, the male is reluctant to leave. Not until he does will the less dominant hen in the distance approach the nest. At last, he permits the female to take over, but she'll closely inspect the eggs first. Now, as the male begins his lookout duties, the hen makes sure all is well while the less dominant female comes closer. The numerous eggs are stained, but in good shape, and she steps gingerly among them as she prepares to settle down to the job of incubating. Her huge feet could crush the eggs if she became careless, but that rarely occurs. For 42 days, she and her mate have incubated these eggs. Today, they are due to hatch, and that will begin a whole new phase of parental care. Abruptly, the male's wing plumes rise as a danger signal because of the actions of another family group of ostriches some distance away. They've obviously seen something that's alarmed them. The big male's mate also responds to the signal, and she's seen the danger. A leopard, one of the most feared predators. Able to kick viciously enough to disable or even kill most predators, the ostrich is still greatly fearful. With only eggs in the nest, he will not confront the intruder. But if there were chicks, he would attack. Fortunately, the eggs don't interest this powerful cat. But for the ostriches, the leopard still poses a distinct threat. The cat is one of the few predators which might dare attack such a huge and powerful adult bird. ostriches in the area, and to many of their neighbors as well. It's unusual for the big cat to be hunting now, since it's ordinarily a night stalker of its prey. Hunting here will be pointless now that the male ostrich's bellowing has effectively alerted all other animals within hearing. With the danger past, it's now safe for the female to return to her incubation duties. With peacefulness restored in the area, the female ostrich can now direct her full attention to the eggs, knowing the chicks will soon be emerging.
about three pounds each. These are the largest eggs laid by any living bird, larger even than those laid by many of the great dinosaurs of prehistoric times. As soon as the principal hen has settled comfortably over them again, the less dominant female will take her position close by to help protect them from enemies. Suddenly, the male becomes alert to the peculiar actions of another pair of females nesting some distance away. They've been disturbed by an intruding Egyptian cobra. It's a large one, nearly 10 feet long. Its bite would be fatal to the bird. One blow of the bird's powerful foot could crush the snake. The threatening attitude of the venomous reptile serves to successfully hold the big birds at bay. Ultimately, it's the snake who breaks the stalemate. As soon as it is safely away, the ostriches are able to resume their interrupted duty. For the ostriches, it's all part of the day-to-day -day struggle for survival. Under the noontime sun, the two hen ostriches see a new development in another nest nearby. A chick has hatched, and this means that very soon others will too. The eggs in this nest will begin hatching soon, and the hens must continue guarding against enemies. Chakma baboons have begun moving into the area, and while now merely foraging, they could become a problem. Adult baboons respect the fierce protectiveness of the ostriches, but young baboons may not. The females relax because now the attention of the baboons is directed to an abandoned nest. The nest was deserted by the parent birds when the infertile eggs failed to hatch. Now they are all badly spoiled. One of the younger baboons learns why it's unwise to stir the wrath of the huge birds. Still, with no birds to guard the abandoned nest, the spoiled eggs become fair game for them. Others follow the example. Uh -huh. 
The big puzzle seems to be how to open a strong shelled ostrich egg once you've got one. One enterprising youngster tries a new approach to opening the egg, but with little success. What he needs is to learn how his companion, still at the nest, managed to get one of the big eggs opened. He's much too intent, however, on trying to find a hard spot on which to drop his own egg. Although the baboons are first to discover the abandoned nest and begin carrying off the eggs, there are other predators of this habitat who are interested in the eggs also, and they'll almost certainly be attracted to them soon. The day is slipping away, and the male ostrich continues watching the antics of the young baboons in the area of the Limpopo River. One of them ignores his own ostrich egg in curiosity over what one of his companions has discovered on the opposite bank. The longer he watches, the more interested he becomes. Evidently, there's something especially interesting over there. The other young baboon seems to be finding it difficult to keep his attention on the stolen egg. It appears that there's some sort of animal in that hole. It's a small striped mongoose, irate at being disturbed, and now determined to enlarge the hole enough to escape the pestering. The mongoose, hearing the activity of the young baboon on the bank above, finally lets his curiosity get the best of him. The baboon has an egg, and since the mongoose is very fond of eggs, he intends to claim it for himself. of the spoiled egg was considerably more than the mongoose had barking for. The fun with the egg is over for this little baboon, and now he's going back to the troop. Most of the Chakma baboons have wearied of playing with the spoiled ostrich eggs, but there's at least one of the young ones who's still interested. Unaware he's being watched by a brown hyena, the youngster finds the fun to be too much like work and finally gives it up. Hyenas are fond of eating both eggs and chicks, and this one won't have the trouble the baboons had in trying to open the egg. The fact that it's spoiled is not important, as the scavenging canine will eat almost anything.
Still watching the activities closely, the ostriches are a little apprehensive over the appearance of the hyena. He's a predator who might also decide to raid some of the other nests. Evidently this time though, he's satisfied with the abandoned egg and will not become a threat. With the hyena's disappearance, the last young baboon in the immediate area is encouraged to leave. The baboons have begun moving to a new area. And so now, the hen ostriches can get back to the business of nest tending. Two or three days ago, the eggs began to be pipped by the chicks within them. The period of incubation is ending, and in the several nests in this immediate area, the eggs are now beginning to hatch. These chicks are about as large as barnyard hens, and after a brief period of rest from the efforts of emerging from the egg, they begin trying to appease their insatiable hunger. The speckled coloration helps camouflage them if danger appears. Later, when full grown, sight of such danger will send them sprinting off at 50 miles per hour. In these nests, hatching is occurring simultaneously. And as early evening approaches, chicks are appearing everywhere. At first, they remain fairly close to the watchful parent birds instinctively ready to hide instantly if a warning should be given of approaching danger. Their appetites are prodigious, and for the next six months, they'll be eating almost constantly during their waking hours. And at the end of those six months, incredible though it seems, they'll have reached full adult height of eight feet and between two and three hundred pounds. They'll continue to be vulnerable for a while yet, but before long, they'll be safe in this land of the ostrich. Even though it can run swiftly and kick fiercely and with great accuracy, the ostrich has over the years been eliminated from much of the range it once inhabited abundantly. This has been the result of overhunting. Unfortunately, its eggs are very good to eat, and at times the breeding plumes of the males have been extremely popular in the world of ladies' fashions. Many African governments have at last begun affording full protection to wild ostriches, and there is now little likelihood that they will ever become extinct. As the largest living bird in the world, the ostrich is a real symbol of wild Africa, and equally a highly distinctive and valuable member of the Wild Kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, people you can count on, has presented Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Mutual of Omaha, helping people find Medicare solutions for over 50 years. To learn more about plan options or how to protect your kingdom, contact us today. Mutual of Omaha, protect your kingdom.